Hello, welcome to WR Guitar, I'm Will Russell and in this tutorial today I'm going to be teaching you how to play the acoustic part for a crazy little thing called Love by Queen. So, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so jumping in on the intro, we're going to start with a D chord and we'll be alternating between a D to a D sus4 chord. So, the D chord then. First finger, second fret on the fourth string down second finger, second fret on the sixth string down, and the third finger rolls in the middle, third fret on the fifth string down. So you should end up with a triangular shape. Now to get your D sus4 chord, all you're gonna do is add that pinky, tuck it in right underneath, right underneath there on the sixth string down. D, D sus4. So to get the intro pattern, you're gonna go down up on the D. Pinky goes down to the D sus4, and we're gonna do a down strum. And then we're gonna take it off and do an up strum on the D. So that's the first part. Two Ds, down, up, pinky down, down strum, pinky off, up. Up strum. Your next three strums are going to be up, down, up, and we're going to go D, D sus4, D. Up, down, up. So that's your intro. Now you're going to play that four times. Then gonna keep that pattern going on D to D sus4 twice round. Then moving to a G chord, which is first finger, second fret, second string down, second finger, third fret on the top, and little or third finger down at the bottom, sixth fret, sorry, sixth string, third fret. We're going to do the same pattern as we did with the D chord. Down, up, down, up, miss, up, down, up. Down, up, down, up, miss, up, down, up. So from the D. To the G. Down, up, down, up, miss, up, down, up. Then we're going to do two strums on C, which is first finger on the first fret of the fifth string down. Second finger, second fret. Third string down, third finger, third fret, second string down. And then we're going to go back to that G chord, but we're going to miss out that top string. So you can either take it off, or you can just miss it out with your right hand. So that's C. So here we go, from the D. Now you're going to play that chord progression twice through and that will complete the first bit of the verse. So the second bit of the verse then, we're going to grab that D again. For once round. Then we're going to grab a B flat. Now this one's a bit of a challenge. You've got to use your first finger in the first fret of the second string down. And then with your little finger or third finger, I prefer my little, you've got to flatten the third, fourth, and fifth strings in the third fret. And that creates a B flat chord. We're gonna do two strums on the B flat chord, and then we're gonna to move to the C chord. So from the D, Finishing with a whole bar of D and then a stab. So here's the whole verse section close up. B flat, C, stab. 
So moving on to our next section, we've almost got all the chords we need for the song. We're going to start with two bars of G, same rhythm, one bar of C, and back to G. So we've got G, C, G. We're then going to grab our beautiful B flat chord again for two bars. And here are our next three chords. We're going to do two strums on an E, which is first finger, first fret on the fourth string down. Second finger, second fret on the second string down. And third finger, second fret on the third string down. Two down strums. We're then going to go to the A chord, which is all of these three fingers, first, second, and third, in the second frets of the third, fourth, and fifth string. So we're going to do two on E, two on A, and land on an F chord. So I'm going to show you a slightly easier F chord for this as we're only using it for one beat. First finger, first fret on the fifth string. Second finger, second fret on the fourth string. Third finger, third fret on the third string. And a nice quick strum, making sure you're missing out the top two strings. There it is. So E, A, F. So I'm going to play you all the chords so far from this new section. Okay, we're nearly at the end. So, we're going to use these cool little riffs now to finish off the song. So these riffs, we're going to use our third finger in the fifth fret of the second string down. Then we're going to go back to the second finger and go down a fret, fourth fret. Then we're going to use our first finger and go down a fret again, third fret. We're then going to repeat that shape, but we're going to do it on the string above. Five, four, three. So second string down, five, four, three. First string up from the top, five, four, three. We're then going to grab that lovely E chord again, and we're going to do six strums. So we've got. And to finish this section off then, we're going to go second fret on the fourth string down. We're going to do two second frets and then an open fourth string. We're then going to go fourth fret with our third finger, third string down, and then second fret with our first finger. So from the riff section, six E's. have it. There is my crazy little thing called love tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today and you found everything you were looking for in this song. If you've got any questions at all about it though, make sure you jot in the comment box and I will get back to you on your questions. If you have enjoyed this video, then make sure you subscribe to WR Guitar so that you get updated every time I release a new tutorial on my channel. So until next time, I've been Will Russell. I will see you soon.